What is up everybody, it is Guy Smiley here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make these custom backpacks for your LEGO minifigures. Now uh, you can use these for World War II minifigures, you can use them for Vietnam minifigures as I have shown here. Uh, you can use them for castle minifigures, look, which look really good. You guys will be seeing some of that on the screen right now, and I will show them again at the end of the video. And uh, you can also use them for city minifigures, which uh, would look really cool if you guys have like a, a city mountain range. And uh, you want to um, have have the uh, the hikers have a custom backpack that looks really realistic. You guys can use them for that purpose as well. So let's get started with this video right now. All right, everybody. So uh, this is the figure that we're going to be making the backpack on. Uh, we're going to start off with a neck bracket and two one by one tiles with the clips at 90 degrees from the attachment point. And then we're going to have a one by one tile on the back there. Uh, you, can, you can use a printed tile if you have one, but uh, I don't really have any printed tiles that work very well for this. So we're just going to use a one by one tile, and I think that these, these work just as well as a printed tile. So we're going to start off with, we're going to take our uh, a, some, some felt here. We have a sheet of felt that I've already used a lot of, but we're going to take this and we're going to cut a little strip of this off. Now, these are this is a 8x11 sheet of felt. I think it's 8x11. It's about that big. And you can buy these in Michaels for like 25 cents. You can also use cloth that you might have in your house. Um, for one of the backpacks that I did, I did use um, some some old t-shirt material because I had a t-shirt in my closet that was super worn out and it was time to just throw it away. So I cut off a piece of the cloth and I used it for this one here, which uh, ended up looking really good. But uh, I think that I've kind of determined that this looks the best because if you use a uh, cloth that is too thin, this one's kind of thick, uh, you really can't see the, the spiral design of the sleeping bag there. And the spiral design makes it look really realistic, I think. It makes it look really good. Uh, if you can't see that, it, it kind of takes away some of the some of the, the realism that I think you get with using the felt here. So uh, you can buy this at Michael's and we're just going to cut a strip of this out. And it looks like I might have made this, uh, that piece is a little bit too big. You want it to be about one, uh, one centimeter wide. I have my trusty Lego ruler here and we can kind of see that the ones that I've already made are about, um, 1.5 centimeters to one centimeter. So I would lean closer to one centimeter because you don't want it to be too wide because uh, if they are too wide, then they end up looking uh, a little bit weird. So we have our strip of this cloth and we are going to uh, take this and we're going to roll it up in a very tight fashion, as tight of a roll as we can get. And then that's actually good. So I cut that perfectly. That's the perfect size. That's about the as big as we want it. And then we're going to take a Lego plate that we have here. And I have attached two bricks to it. And we're going to just stick this in there. And uh, that is going to allow us to hold that there while we do the other, the next step. So we're going to take some electrical tape. We have a roll of electrical tape here. You guys probably have some of this in your garage or uh, in like a tool cabinet or something because uh, it's used for repairing uh, broken electrical wires. And then we're going to cut off a long strip like this. And then we're going to take another Lego plate. I have some on there from when I was doing this previously. And uh, we're going to stick the tape on one edge like so. And then we're going to do that. So we have it like this on a Lego plate, and this is going to allow us to make a very precise cut. It's going to allow us to actually cut the um, the electrical tape into a very thin, a very thin strip. And we're just going to cut two very thin strips. And uh, then we're just going to take one of the strips and cut it off right there. And then leave the other one sitting somewhere so it doesn't uh, stick to anything. Then we're going to take our roll here and place this strip on one side of the roll. Like so. This is the binding for the sleeping bag here. And then you're just going to overlap it and roll it all the way around. 
like so. Then we have one of the bindings done. And that looks pretty good. So then we're going to take the next one. And uh, since that one was a little bit too long, I'll, I'll cut this one a little bit shorter. Then I'm going to take our roll again and then attach it like this. And then go all the way around like so. You want it to be a little bit tight because uh, if it's not tight it won't look like this is actually holding the sleeping bag in a roll position. So try to get it as tight as possible. And then there you have it. There we have the, t the, the sleeping bag with uh, the two bindings around it. And that looks really good. Looks super realistic. And uh, we'll attach this to our figure here. Uh, as you will, as you can see, we're going we're gonna to be putting it right there. So what we need to do is we need to cut another piece of this electrical tape. And we just need a small piece this time to uh, stick it to that, that Lego plate there. Because there's really no way to attach this with, with an official Lego uh, piece. So this is kind of a custom thing. It's not definitely not purist. Unless you use official Lego cloth and official Lego tape. <laughs> so I just cut a small piece off of this uh, E-tape here. Off the end. And then roll it in a circle. Like so. Then you're going to put it on the bottom of this sleeping bag here. And then you're going to attach it to the, the top of the plate. Right there. And that's looking pretty good. So we're already... Uh, making good progress on this. We just need two more pieces and then the rest is just Lego parts that you can attach right here and here. Here and here on both sides. So next we're going to make a something for the bottom because the bottom needs something there. And uh, we have some paper bag from Trader Joe's actually. Well actually this might be from Sprouts. But if you guys go to like any store you guys probably have tons of paper bags around your house. So just kind of go and take a piece and uh, cut a strip out of this paper bag like so and you want it to be about this big and uh, you, d you want this to be less than the the width of this so that's what you want there so you're going to take this paper here and you're going to crumple it up a little bit because things are not perfect in real life and it looks really good when there's a little bit of texture on there so you're just going to crumple it and then uncrumple it a couple of times. So now we've got that nice crumpled up strip of paper. And then we're just going to roll this up kind of loosely. Unlike the actual sleeping bag, we're just going to roll this in a loose fashion. All the way up to right here. Just like this. So now we have a nice rolled piece of paper there. And we're actually going to need to cut another strip. So you can just sit that down. And it should keep its shape. So we're going to cut another strip of this electrical tape here. And then cut a about half of it. Because we can save the other half for the next thing that we're going to do. And then we're going to go around this thing here with this piece of electrical tape and this is going to hold it together then there we have that piece there then we're going to take some another piece of this electrical tape here to uh, secure it onto the backpack roll this up into a double sided form if you guys have double sided tape this would be a perfect uh, place to use it so you don't have to worry about rolling electrical tape in like this to get it to stick to the actual backpack and then we're going to put this on the bottom right there 
And you can squish this one down a little bit. It'll kind of undo itself. And then that's that's that, that's looking good, looking really good right there. So now we just need one more thing. And uh, this one uses cheesecloth, but you can use more of this if you want. You can use more cloth. You guys can just make like rolls and make folded things and put electrical tape around them. That's kind of the main thing that I want to get across with this is you can use this stuff to make like folded packages. You can use it to make rolls. And that's what's going to make this look really good. That's what's going to make it look super realistic. But what I have here is some, I have some cheesecloth. And uh, this is kind of like some extra netting. Because I would think that they would carry around extra netting for their helmets if they if they needed it. So we're just going to take a piece of cheesecloth, and because this adds another 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 uh, different texture to the actual backpack, so that's pretty good. And we're just going to roll this piece of cheesecloth. It doesn't matter what shape it is. Just roll it. If it's irregular, that's fine. Then we're going to roll it till we get about that thick, and we're just going to cut it off. Now, obviously, it's not going to be perfect. But then we're just going to sit this down here that we have. Have our little piece of cheesecloth that is rolled up. And we're going to take the other half of that electrical tape that we cut earlier. And we're going to cut it. And we're going to use this to secure the cheesecloth in a little circle here. And there we have it. That's the last piece of the backpack that we need. And then we're going to take another little piece of tape here. And we're going to cut a little piece just like we have before. And use it to secure it to the backpack. And just kind of stick it on there. And then we're, the best place to, to stick this would actually be... Because on this side I was thinking that we're going to put a... Lego pan piece because you know they might need to carry around a pan that they need to um, to cook something in so then we'll have that on that side and that looks pretty good but the other side I don't know you can put whatever you want for this one I'm going to actually put a knife so we're going to put a knife on right here and you can do it either way you can put the knife on the other side or this side if you want whichever side you want really and then we are going to, because the thing is, I don't know which one would look better. I feel like it looks better to have the knife on this side, the side where the uh, there's the space right there. And then we're going to just attach this right in that space. Because that looks pretty good, I think. Because it adds some more, some more texture to it. And then we can attach the pan here or on the other side, whichever one you want. And that looks pretty good. And we're pretty much done with this. And you guys can make like another little piece of something here. Especially if you have a different color cloth. It would be perfect. Uh, you can fold something up into a package shape versus a, a roll. And I'll show you guys some of that in just a second. But for now, this backpack is done. So uh, that's all you guys need to do for this uh, particular one. Uh, we're going to switch to some other shots of uh, some all the different ones that I've made uh, previously. Uh, to end out this video right now. And here are the two backpacks that I made for the World War II minifigures and my Vietnam figure that we just made. Uh, as you can see, they look equally good on uh, both World War II figures and Vietnam War minifigures. Uh, they look really great. Uh, they, they look so realistic. And uh, as you can see, the electrical tape is probably one of the most useful things you can possibly have when uh, customizing figures. Because if you use those strips of electri electrical tape, you can actually put some around the minifigure's waist, and if you, you can put stuff in it, like a stick grenade here. You can put a, uh, a, a cloth package there with the, uh, the felt, the same felt that we used for the, the uh, sleeping bags. And if you had some Brick Arms mags, you could put them in there as well. So it looks like they have some extra magazines for their guns uh, in their waistband. And here are the backpacks that I made for the castle minifigures. Uh, as you can see, they look really good on castle minifigures. They work just as well as they do on the World War II and Vietnam minifigures. Uh, but uh, these pouches here are actually from Brick Forge. Uh, I got them a long time ago, and they work really well if you put them on the back stud instead of a, putting a, a one by one tile there. And then you can put a piece of electrical tape over it to cover up the stud and, and secure it in place. Uh, but yeah, you, can, you guys can buy some of those at Brick Forge if you want to do that. Uh, but it's really not necessary because they look great without it. And uh, the shields are actually attached uh, on this one. It's, they're attached by a one by one uh, plate with the clip. 
<laughs> that just turned downwards uh, to allow this to be securely attached there on the backpack. And then on this one, I actually attached it with some electrical tape. As you can see, there's a piece attached right there, and then it's coming up and being attached under underneath as well, so that it looks like it's just kind of hanging off there, just like it would be in real life, and it can kind of move and stuff. And so it's at, a, it's at a cool angle, too. It's not like a straight angle, so that makes, makes it look even more realistic. But I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys tried to make these backpacks and if you guys liked the tutorial. And be sure to leave a like on the video as well. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys next time.